Welcome to this week's video. So this week I'm not cruising my boat. What I'm going to try and do is show you how I cook on it. Now normally I cook on a normal stove like everybody else. Four rings, a grill and a hob because I have that here. However, I've just dug this out the back of my cupboard. This is a potato cooker but apparently you can use it for omelettes and bread. You can cook meat in it, you can do all sorts in it. It's made out of cast iron. So because I've got my log burner on 24 seven this time of year, my multi-fuel stove, I thought, let's give it a go. Let's not save on the gas and use this. Now I've not got much in the fridge, I'm afraid. So I'm gonna try an omelette. I've got no milk, but I do have plenty of eggs, some onions and some bits and bobs. So that's what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> so join me, let's give it a go. So first things first, we need to chop ourselves some onions without crying. Look at this, that bloody Gordon Ramsay, aren't I? Next, you need to get yourself a nice drink and because it's still early, put some lemonade in it. So it's important guys that when you are doing this, stay hydrated. Cheers. So let's crack on. Hey, do you see what I did there? So now we're adding some eggs to our omelette. Egg whites and the yolks, just lob it all in there. Then you need to just whisk the eggs together. Now I've just raided the fridge and found some cooked ham slices. So I'm gonna add some ham to my omelette and grate some cheese. Now throw all the ham and the onions and the cheese into my mixture. Just lob it all in there and give it a stir. And then a little bit of black pepper, some salt, a little bit of seasoning, and we're here, give it another stir and we're ready to go. So I've lightly oiled the cast iron cooker to stop things sticking to it. It's thirsty work this. So guys, just to get that thing cooking, I've had to load more coal on the fire and oh my God, it's so warm in here. It's really like, I think it's about 28 degrees and I feel like I'm going through the change. Um, but yeah, thirsty work, wow. So now it's all binding together, I'm gonna to pour it into the cast iron cooker. Actually looking at it now, I think I need to add another egg because it's looking a bit too much onion and everything else. Not enough egg, because I didn't have any milk. So I'm gonna add another egg and uh, then add that to the mixture. So I'm gonna throw this on top of my oven now and see how long it takes to cook. Whee! <laughs> So it's all on top of the fire now and the fire's quite banked up and um, it's quite hot. So I'm going to leave that now because apparently it's meant to warm all the way through and just see how it does. Um, I know the glass on my fire is dirty. I do clean it every morning, um, but I keep my fire in 24 seven. And once it's got a bit dirty and then again throughout the day, it's too hot to clean the glass on. So that's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> So this is meant to get warm. Let's have a look. That should be hot. The bottom's hot, but that bit isn't. Nope, that's not cooked. So guys, it's been on half an hour now and I've just checked it and it doesn't look any cooked. <laughs> um, and it's really warm in the boat, so I need to keep hydrated. But uh, I don't think it's going to be ready till tea time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and speed it up because I'm absolutely starving. I'm going to try and speed it up and put it inside the fire. I'm just worried about all the egg moving and falling out into the fire, but let's give it a go. Got to try these things, haven't you? Well, that fire's hot. So I'm just going to move it from the top of the stove now. I've got this brilliant little nifty hook thing that it comes with, like a handle, and lift it now into the fire itself. Ooh. 
Let's hope it doesn't tip over. If I'd have just cooked it in a frying pan on my cooker, well, it would have been eaten, washed up and done by now. I can smell it and I can hear it sizzling. Listen. So let's get that out of there quick. Woo! <sighs> Bloody hell. I think that was a mistake doing that. I don't know if you can, uh, you've got not got smelly vision, but it absolutely stinks. Oh God. Now I'm setting fire to the boat. That stinks. Eight minutes so uh yeah i'm dreading to see how it looks now so i've got my plate set up to <laughs> eat it but it's smelling a bit so this cast iron cooker is really really hot so you've got to be really careful here Looks all right, look at that. Oh. It's a bit burnt underneath, I can see. I mean, slightly. Oh, it's very. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Work. I know the underneath is burnt, but the top bit looks all right, so I might give it a try. Let me just move my phone so you can see better. Just get rid of this burnt bit out of there. So I think I've saved what I can out of that lot. I need to leave the rest behind. So even these guys don't want any. They're leaving. So this bit looks all right. There's no black bits. Mmm. Well. Right. It's all right though, you know. I think. The, the trick from this is not to put it into your stove, but I just got impatient and... Mm. It's still sizzling away though. <laughs> that cast iron does get really, really hot. So guys, I've still got the side hatch open because it absolutely stinks. Um, but always remember, whatever happens, anything, always put your smoke alarm back together, put your batteries back in, because that is a lifesaver. So I've done that, so now I can relax and pour myself a drink. I've let every candle and every joystick I've got to try and get rid of this smell. Oh, put it! Oh! What did you think of that then? What did you think of that cooking? Do you think it was nice? You didn't have any, did you? You're not allowed it. So basically guys, I think the disaster today was I should have got the cast iron cooker thing. I should have got it hot before I started to use it. I think that's what I should have done. Um, I think it was a mistake throwing it actually in the stove. And um, that was a big mistake, wasn't it? Um, because it just heated up too quick and just burnt. Whereas if it had more patience and got it on the outside of the stove, I think if it had heated up first, then put it on the outside of the stove, it would have cooked quite nicely. So we're going to try it again. Um, I did try this years and years ago when I first got it. Um, and because I burnt my jacket potatoes, I've never used it since. I threw it in the cupboard. But I won't be defeated. I'm going to keep trying. Keep trying and cooking things. New things. Get excited by it. I will suss it. It's nothing to do with the cooker. It's to do with me. We'll suss it, won't we, pudding? Hey? We say cheers. 
Say cheers. Cheers. And a big cheers to this week's pirate crew. Wow. Ken Eaton, Joe Taylor, Norman Turner, Brian M, Chuck Bledsoe, Lee and Linda, Angel Kate, Donna, Brenton and Lee, Ian Walters, Sandra Christie, Brian W, David Van Wart, Ralph Wood, Arthur Pritchett, Marcia Nelson, Keith Clark, Paul and Kelly, Alan Harbit, Mike and Jan, Norman Laura, Justin Boingy, Charlie and Kathy, Nick and Steve and Z. Thank you so much guys, love you all and I'll see you next time.